Welcome back on the touchline. This is, of course, the Y254 Barado Kumu here, and I'm with Osborne Mandi on our first session of the interviews. Osborne Mandi is a former Kenyan international, turned off Arambe Stars between 2005 and 2020, and also played for a number of Kenyan clubs, including Task FC, Sofa Parker, and Madara United. Is that true? Osborne, Karibu Sana on the touchline. Asante. Yes, and let's begin with your career when it began at Maisa. How was it? Is Osiku? <laughs> Football was the first choice. Kwako? Yeah, uh, thank you once again for welcoming me here. Kisa mkweli minda sema football ilikuwa kituiko kwa family. Na imekuwa, imekuwa for so long since uh, my older brother alikuwa na cheza. My late brother Peter Seri. Yeah. Alafu sasa ilikuwa hizi wewe kupik football siyo. And how did Maisa maybe, because kulikuwa neo structure Maisa ilikuwa for the youth. How important was it that ulianza now? Maisa uh, to me imerelea because uh, ilikuwa na good uh, structures za youth mm -hmm. na tuli grow sana uh, na imechangia sana kwa life yangu mm -hmm. in most of the things in football wise mm -hmm. uh, life wise imechangia sana mm -hmm. yeah. na labda looking at your structure Maisa na when it began maybe in late 80s yo, na mpaka let's say in 2016 2015 when it prove it's worth though bado iko bad Ono ono zina nini labda wa ufanya right? Uh, kimimi uh, na zase ma what they do right is wana deal na ma youth uh -huh. na that is where we've been going wrong in Kenya uh -huh. in terms of football uh -huh. na imekuwa structure poa sana since uh, other times zetu kiangalia uh -huh. uh, national team tulivu kama watu wa nane kwa uh -huh. national team uh -huh. all coming from the same club uh -huh. Mother United uh -huh. which ni maisa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, and labda hiyo time ilikuwa national team to Canada that was uh, maybe 2008 around there. Yes. Papo pia Kenya ilikuwa na one of the highest ranking kwa FIFA. Very true. Uh -huh. Yeah, I remember tulikuwa I think number 60 60 60 yeah, 60 yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah uh -huh. kulikuwa na a lot of uh, good times na competition uh -huh. during that time and uh, I believe uh, mpaka sasa Kenya I think uh, they've not been to that number. Yeah. Yeah. Avichi imekuwa ni poa sana na imekuwa ilikuwa jani poa sana kwangu. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Kama players hiyo. Na labda uke, nini ilikuwa inafanya uh, good players to come from Maisa and also hiyo ranking kupatikana hiyo time especially Kimanzi was in charge. Sio. Yeah, hiyo time uh, uh, nakumbuka poa sana since uh, tulikuwa wadogo kulikuwa na a lot of structures growing up as a football player uh -huh. of which na ime help my player wengi sana uh, uh, wale wamepitia kwa hiyo njia ya maisa. Uh -huh. yep. uh -huh. And also, Harambe Stars at that time, uh, there was also a good, uh, sema, maybe one of the Kenya's best striker, unajua, Oliech. Dennis, yeah. yeah. Experience za kucheza na mchezaji kwa huyo na ili muhimu wake kwa team kama player. <laughs> eh, ilikuwa ni, unajua, sometimes ukingi kwa field, unawana mtu kama Dennis, na Dennis amekuwa mbele yangu. Uh -huh. Na, okay, tumekuwa tuna gropa moja, but yeye alianza kucheza mbele yangu. Uh -huh. So, na alianza kumeka a name, uh -huh. tambo mbele yangu. Na, being a uh, player, me introduce you kucheza na watu kama kina Dennis. Ilikuwa na nipe confidence. Uh -huh. Since, uh, unuona mtu kama Dennis, okimpe ball, you just see something. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. na ilikuwa, eh, maybe wengi wali onanga tu ile mbio alikuwa nayo na ile <laughs> ile akuwa na miss ile sharpness alikuwa nayo yep. maybe wewe ulikuwa unaweza describe yaje what else ilikuwa ina make alikuwa that good alikuwa alikuwa striker mpo uh -huh. uh, positioning speed uh, kiakili pia alikuwa striker mfiti sana uh -huh. yep. best game labda kwa memory best game ya yeah. Uh, yeah yeah when he when you were in and also he was also in yeah there was a game to really play up a, a friendly match it was against south africa uh -huh. na he really showed me a lot of uh, good stuff since your time nili kulikuwa coach mzungu hapo alinipega chance na tuliweza kucheza pamoja uh -huh. since that time uh -huh. na as a midfielder uh -huh. Dennis alikuwa na kuonesha ako eager kutafuta hii bao so uh -huh. all the runs all the moves zilikuwa perfect uh -huh. yeah na ulikuwa mid poor sana pia <laughs> shuka, shuka. <laughs> so, and maybe the best game i watched maybe ukicheza ilikuwa uh, qualifier for the Africa Cup of against Zimbabwe. Then they were talking about Wari, <laughs> yeah. and Nyai was really full, packed, to, yeah. uh, fully yeah. packed, you know. And I remember Dennis later on he was he came in as a goalkeeper. As a goalkeeper. Yes, uh, I remember that game very well since Ilikuani uh, game, Ilikuani game, Kwanza Kimimi. It was a long time since I played on a big crowd like that, uh -huh. and Ilinipe uh, challenge sana. 
na it was a good motivation for me since ilikuwa ilikuwa maybe my first time kucheza under a big crowd like that and i really enjoyed it because tulifunga zimbabwe na tuka tukaweza ku who qualify for the for the Africa Cup yeah. for, for the NNE, not for the Africa Cup. What was it? To guys who were top, who were your group, who were your group, yeah, yeah, yes. And and maybe could that be one, maybe one of the best moments that you ever had wearing national colours? <laughs> yeah, it was one of the best moments. Uh, it was one of my best moments uh, since uh, kuna a lot of good moments yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I could describe ni mingi sana yeah yeah club football uh, turning out for Tasca one of the best sides that you experiences at the team yeah turning out for Tasca I remember I was injured uh -huh. and then I had a very serious injury uh, which uh, kama player any player always itaka kupata injury kama hiyo nilikuwa na ACL injury on my left knee na I was thinking ni kama sitarudi back to football mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. the good thing about it niliweza kupona nika come back na tulikuwa na madokta wa poa waliniweza walinifanisha tizi poa hizi poa nikarudi poa nika recover then tuka come kacheza na task tukashinda i think two cups mm -hmm. yeah tulishinda super cup na the league title mm -hmm which was uh, later called double double mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and uh, the uh, so for then turning out for task uh, for so for paka later on yeah turning out for sofa faka ilikuwa pia poor because uh, sofa paka ha really had good players and uh, to play kuanza kwa first 11 ilikuwa very hard since uh, the likes of titus kina mm -hmm. bob mm -hmm. kina edgar mm -hmm. a lot of good, good players mm -hmm. na zingine pia ni challenging for for a player, if they are good players, na lazima prove ndo ucheze ya. And now, uh, life after football, did, when, when you decided to hang boots, it could uh, the right time, or you felt like you had more to give? <laughs> to me, I thought uh, it was the right time, because uh, firstly, when I did my first, uh, my last surgery, uh -huh. uh, everything was not the same as I used to be. So, your time will come, na nika embrace, Na nika sema, it's time. <laughs> yeah. And now what next? What followed? Uh, what followed next is niliweza kachini na mabeste wangu na wakani wakani chocha, wakani mbenaje go into try coaching at uh -huh. least you got something uh -huh. you can offer in coaching. Uh -huh. But say na study na finish my badges uh -huh. and I'm looking forward to being on the touchline. Uh -huh. yeah. Nice one. How soon? Very soon. Being on the touchline <laughs> is on the touchline. <laughs> very soon, very soon. Uh -huh. Uh, and maybe uh, Kaf D, Shafanya Kaf D, Kaf B, and what age groups maybe you want to target to Kwanza your coaching with? I did uh, my budget uh, Kitambo. Mm -hmm. uh, as for now, I have a deal with my youth. I have a deal with my youth. I have a deal with my under 9 and under 23, which is the uh, youth side. Mm -hmm. na I believe I have been working with my youth for the past uh, like seven years. Mm -hmm of which I believe it's time to progress further mm -hmm. and uh a game kwa nini kwa study. Yeah. Yeah what, what do you realize okay work na youth? What what kind of energy do they give you? <laughs> uh, working with the with the youth is is very challenging. <laughs> it's very challenging. But uh, to me I embraced it because it many fundish a lot of things because uh work na youth there's one thing uh, even foolish about patience, uh -huh. about uh, trying to be uh, a, a leader, uh -huh. a teacher, uh -huh. and mentoring some uh, some kids, uh -huh. some sportsmen. Uh -huh. yeah. Why is it hard? Why is it difficult? <laughs> With the youth. Yes. At times, you know, play a lot of the right thing, and uh, maybe you've taught him, you've demonstrated it, na mm -hmm. he get. Mm -hmm. Na, uh, of which uh, unopata some players wala lani gi slowly, some, uh -huh. some wala lani faster, uh -huh. some do take time, most time to learn. Uh -huh. So you got to have that patience to, to implement whatever you want uh -huh. in them. Yep. Maybe uh, during your playing time, the coaches that you see yourself every time you, you're on the touchline trying to also, you know, get it going. <laughs> Here in Kenya? Yeah, 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 or anywhere else. Here in Kenya, na na ekosana ghost uh -huh. ghost mlay cause uh -huh.
tulikuwa na yeye tumefanya ma projects na yeye tukiwa tunacheza na amekuwa mse amenifundisha a lot in terms of coaching mm -hmm. yeah so i was looking forward to him and uh, my late brother who was uh, doing coaching yeah mm -hmm. and what maybe qualities what do they require what do you, what do they nini <laughs> natakana especially when you just you know getting into the world <laughs> there are a lot of things uh, required in coaching mm -hmm. uh, which uh, some of them I cannot say mm -hmm. uh, but there's a lot in terms of discipline leadership uh, there's a lot there's uh -huh. a lot and the coaches who dominate the game maybe uh tunaizongia um, let's say international you know co good coaches like Akina Pep and all that you know that all that group au labda ni nini hasa kina utofautisha na wengine people pay say just they're just good coaches they get the best <laughs> players but this you are kutoa the best for my players yeah looking at uh, coaches like pep uh, there's one thing uh, me wanna call pep bielsa all these good coaches work on a passion in doing whatever they do mm -hmm. so at times if you don't have passion kina morino mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it's hard mm -hmm. cuz you got to have passion for you to enjoy the game uh -huh. yeah. and maybe at going back to before the akina pep and the ilk they of course they were Mourinho in early 2000s, you know, 2003, 2004, handling Chelsea, and now uh, the it may, football has changed, maybe coaching-wise, right? Yeah. And and maybe Minister uh, Sema is on my 2000s. We'll see is on my long-range shots, you know, going on my thunderbolt. <laughs> it's it's rare nowadays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Football may change. Now I believe after every after every Africa Cup of Nation mm -hmm. or World mm -hmm. Cup mm -hmm. even recently i just saw yesterday there were some coaches uh, forum kuna uh, something new in the come up so when squeeze it when when doing build up uno but uh, it's uh, like uh, the other time uh, defender was mame inje a box uh -huh. nowadays wana uh -huh. sma mandani a box uh -huh. as in football na change na change na i believe with all the changes Uh, uh -huh. yeah. And for you, uh, what what do you mean by influence your philosophy, your coaching philosophy? What do you want players to? Of course, midfielders make good coaches apparently. <laughs> <laughs> to me, what uh, uh, what I like most is uh, technically technically gifted players, uh, players who can play the ball, players who can and very intelligent players. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. What makes a player intelligent? Maybe uh, people will be saying <laughs> somebody just bouncing in the box and yeah. getting it. Uh, it's about uh, it's about thinking. Uh -huh. uh, it's about thinking and how you vile una uh, unafanya actions zako kwa ground. Uh -huh. So like uh, like I say if I'm late in going for a tackle uh -huh. it's uh, it's uh, it's not good for me. Uh -huh. I should be faster. Neither nafa ku recognize eh u jamaa anataka ku tackle so nafa ku mdo jaji that's it in your times who did you play <laughs> with or against that was so intelligent eh hey, i played with the guy but uh, he was called pablo uh -huh. the guy was so short uh -huh. and he was uh, <laughs> he was so good mm -hmm. yeah yes and maybe looking at um your coaching right now maybe their club that you're handling and especially labdam tagani yeah there's a uh, with uh, We are, we are doing a project in Karen uh -huh. uh, it's called uh, WSH uh -huh. Elite uh -huh. and uh, you can uh, view it on uh, all the handles uh -huh. it's there we are working with uh, with kids uh -huh. uh, 15 years going forward because uh -huh. uh, we feel like uh, uh, at 15 most of the academies wana actually aga watoto so unapata inakuwa what's next because uh -huh. most of the academies unapata and uh, from under 7 mm -hmm. to under 15 uh -huh. then they leave you out there so uh -huh. since it not school from under 16 uh -huh. progressing them for uh -huh. yeah But and we, yeah. and we are partnering peer with uh, uh -huh. with clubs from uh -huh. outside the country uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, so if any player be in poor tunamshikanisha he goes so far uh, so far how is it like are there a number of players and uh, maybe you can mention the clubs that maybe you're partnering with Yeah uh, one club we've partnered with is uh, Roma uh -huh. there's one, one of our kids is there uh -huh. it's called Harry uh -huh. he's under 15 he just signed recently with uh, Roma uh -huh. and uh, he lives there they give him a good scholarship uh -huh. now and a progress to uh -huh. pole pole uh -huh. yep. he's a Kenyan right he's a Kenyan so, yeah. yeah so in um, in a couple of years we could be 
seeing him coming back to play for Kenya? <laughs> in a couple of years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's five years. But, but how important is time in football and playing career for player? Time is very important because, uh, <laughs> like they say, uh, time is very essential because uh, uh -huh. there's another kid uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. so you got to use it wisely uh -huh. yes yes indeed and so you so the name of the club the name of the club you said um, in current it's WSH. WSH, yeah. right? Yeah. And Bach's been partnership with a number of clubs. Roma is one of yes, them. Yes, there yes. There are other clubs. Yeah, we are doing also partnership with Kenyan clubs. Mm -hmm. So if a player is good, we can uh, let the player go for trial. So just go sign direct. Mm -hmm. And it also be maybe it will also be nice to see your son wearing the national colour just like the father. How soon? <laughs> soon, soon, uh, soon, uh, soon. Uh, the kid will. Will be in national colors, uh -huh. but uh, he loves to decide. Uh -huh. Yeah, we'll have to sit down with him and decide if he wants to play uh, for Kenya or uh -huh. he plays for Germany. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Currently with FC Zurich. Yeah, currently with FC Zurich. Mm -hmm. Yes. How how important is that? Like, how, what kind of um, I'll say your step? And how how wonderful or how big is it for him to get all that experience and maybe turn out for Kenya? Yeah, it's a it's a very big step for him. Uh -huh. It's a very big step for him since, uh, like I always say, uh, daily there are uh, kids who are, who are born better uh -huh. than you, uh -huh. uh, better than me, uh -huh. and uh, you really uh, uh, got to take the chances you are given. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes, indeed. And just as we go, uh, maybe a quick fire here. Best left back you've played, or best left back currently, or you ever faced? Best left back I've played with uh -huh. was a guy called uh, Lefty. Uh -huh. Yeah, Njoroge? Le not Njoroge. Uh -huh. There was Njoroge and there was... Before Njoroge, there was another Lefty. Okay. But uh, uh -huh. he broke his, uh, his leg and uh -huh. they put some, some screw on his leg. Uh -huh. So he stopped playing. Uh -huh. yeah, he was uh -huh. a very, very talented left back. Uh -huh. Yes. And uh, nowadays we have Marcelo, I think, for Amistad. Yeah, Marcelo also yeah. is... So good, so uh -huh. good. Uh -huh. He's coming up so well. Uh -huh. I recently saw him on the Against other Namibia. match. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he's he's uh, he's one of the players I'm looking up to because yes. he's showing it that he's good, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and everybody uh -huh. sees it. Uh -huh. yep. Best right back, best right back in Kenya or abroad. <laughs> best right back was Danny Alves to me uh -huh. here in Kenya. Uh -huh. <laughs> there are many right backs. <laughs> yeah. Best coach? Best coach, uh, Japo, Jacob Gostumule. Gostumule. And Pep Guardiola. Uh -huh. yeah. Best midfielder? Humphrey Mieno. Humphrey Mieno. Yeah. Still going strong with uh, Sofa Parker. Yes. Thank you so much, Osborne. We okay. wish you all the best, right? WSH is where you ply your trade now. Coaching, yeah. turning to coaching. Turn for Arambe Stars between 2005 and 2020. We're having about just catching up with those who wore the national colors and still doing it. So thank you, um, uh, Osborne, and well, all the you. best, right? Thank you. Yes, so keep it the touchline. Up next, I'll be speaking with Moses Mbudia, the chairman of the Kenya Volleyball Federation. That's the Beach Volleyball Commission. We're here to talk about the futures ongoing in, in Burundi and also a number of tournaments coming up next weekend in Mombasa. Stay tuned.